Hi guys, so here I am launching a new YouTube series on how to write a game book. Something that I never thought I would ever do. But there's two reasons why I finally decided to take the plunge. Uh, first off, I've had many requests in the past to do like an advice blog or some Q&A pieces on um, game book writing. And I've mostly shied away from doing that, um, probably because I've never felt too comfortable or confident with telling others what they should be doing with their writing. But now that I'm getting used to doing these kind of videos, um, which really offer me you know, a different and more immediate way of engaging with the community, I feel like this is a good time to try out something like this, um, make it a bit more sort of fun and informal than your usual how-to video. Uh, so yeah, I thought, you know, let's give this a try. Secondly, possibly more importantly, I probably made every mistake that anybody could ever make when it comes to game book writing. So if others get an opportunity to learn from the mistakes that I've made, then, you know, that, that's going to be valuable, yeah? Um, and, you know, I've had a few successes along the way too. <laughs> so um, this is my opportunity really to kind of share the highs and lows of my game book career so far uh, and pass on, you know, the things that I've learned. Uh, obviously, huge disclaimer, you know, throughout these videos, it is going to be my opinions. Um, it's going to be um, my experiences, um, obviously. And, you know, people may disagree with some of the things I say, and that's understandable, that's fine. Some things might work for other people, some things might not. Um, I'm just really going to be just sharing, you know, my personal experiences. Um, so yeah, so uh, without further ado, let's jump into this intro video. Okay, so let's start with me. <laughs> Who am I and, you know, what right do I have to be sitting here telling you anything about game book writing? Well, I'm uh, the author of the um, Destiny Quest series of game books. There's uh, five game books in, in my series um, and I have a, a sixth book, which is a World Companion. That's a source campaign book. I also have a new game book coming out in June of this year, which is a the first in a spin-off series. It's called Destiny Quest Raiders. It has a very different narrative approach and um, combat system. So I'm super excited about that. Um, finally getting released. Um, if I can, I'll try and leave a link somewhere to a About Me video if you want to learn a bit more about my existing series and, and my influences. Um, if I fail to do that, then I'll leave a link in the description below. So yeah, so I do have a fair bit of experience. I, I'll admit I fell into game book writing kind of completely by accident, really. Um, and my first attempt at game book writing probably leaves a lot to be desired. I did make quite a few mistakes with it, I think, um, a little bit rough around the edges. But mistakes are valuable because you learn from them. And and I think this is true of all authors. We focus very heavily on the criticisms we get. Um, if we get any negative feedback, it usually overshadows any positive feedback. And for me personally, I really take on board everything, everything that, you know, I, I, um, all, all the feedback that I get. And I just try and better myself each time, which I think is, you know, what mistakes are there, there for is to learn from them, to, to grow as an author. Um, you, have, you know, you have to take it on the chin and you just come back fighting, don't you? With, you, you know, you try and do better with your next book and then your next book and, and so on. So, you know, each and everything you write is like a stepping stone on that journey to becoming a better author. Nothing you write is ever wasted. Um, you know, I've written many, many books that have never seen the light of day. Um, but each one has just been, you know, a really useful part of that journey. Um, 
So, with this course, um, I'm going to set out a bit of a rough roadmap. Um, I'm going to be breaking down the structure of this series into game and book. So, looking at the two aspects that make a game book. Now, uh, if you're just writing a more of a narrative game book, like maybe like a typical choose your adventure, the game aspects might be less relevant to you. But, um, you know, obviously you'd be able to skip to the parts of the content that, you know, are relevant to you. So, as I said, I'm going to be breaking down to game and book. So in the area of game, I'm going to be looking at concept. So having a very strong um, concept for your a game system, also looking at difficulty, and tied in with that is testing. Um, with the book aspect, um, we'll be starting with story structure, choices, meaningful choices, character, dialogue, and then probably finally like the nitty gritty of uh, putting a book together, so like, you know, kind of linking uh, entries together, um, etc. So I'm not quite sure on necessarily the order yet. I think it will probably evolve organically, maybe also based on um, comments that, you know, I can always shoot two parts that um, might be of particular interest to a lot of people. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, so finally, I'm going to set you some homework. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So you've got some homework that you can do if you wish. Um, it's fun homework. So I'm going to suggest two games, um, both of which had a massive impact on me as a interactive writer. Um, the first is The Walking Dead season one that was produced by Telltale Games. Fairly dated old game now. I mean, it came out in 2012. Um, sadly overshadowed at the time by The Last of Us, um, which had a very similar kind of narrative structure. Um, but I actually played The Walking Dead before I played The Last of Us. Um, the Walking Dead absolutely blew me away. I absolutely loved it. It's probably in my top five um, game experiences. Um, and, and I can't recommend it enough. It really, as I said, had a huge impact on me. It's It's a game that's really... Um, still stays with me even today and, 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 and incredibly valuable from teaching you about character and choices and I will be um, discussing this at length for, for, you know during this course so I do advise checking it out I think they ended up doing like five seasons and I think you can just buy the whole thing as a as a bundle now the second game is probably one you might not have heard of it's called Firewatch by Campo Santo Games, a bit more of an indie game. It's really interesting. It's not a perfect game. I, again, it's it's a game that stayed with me and I think about a lot when I'm writing, funnily enough. I, I, it's one of those things, it's just, it yeah, it just stayed with me. And it's very, it has a very interesting approach to how, to character and, and, and its narrative. And I will be you know, revisiting this as well um, throughout this course. So I do really recommend them as just interesting gaming experiences, but also I feel like both of them will t teach a lot about sort of good interactive writing. So there we go. So um, I'm really excited about this little series. Uh, obviously, you know, It'll be fun to uh, make this a bit of a community thing. If you're writing a book at the moment, then, you know, please share your experiences in the comment section um, and, and anything we can help with. Um, maybe we can answer questions that you might have. And yeah, and, and if you disagree with some of the things that I end up sharing, then that, that's great. Or if, things you agree with and, and your own experiences of writing. I mean, I think it would be really nice to make this a kind of community thing too. So yeah, I think I've waffled on enough. Um, and yeah, so I'll see you in the next video. So until then, good luck with the writing. Cheers.